Hello, welcome to this week's midweek devotional. If you're not already a subscriber to this YouTube channel, I encourage you to click that subscribe button. And uh, if you have found uh, these devotionals or any of our other content here on this channel beneficial to you, uh, we'd love it if you just clicked a thumbs up and let us know, give us some feedback about how these uh, have benefited you and been an encouragement to you. Um, earlier this week, uh, I had the privilege of attending our district's pastors conference. And uh, during the first session of teaching, um, he was the speaker was teaching out of John 6 and the passage of feeding Jesus feeding the 5,000. <clears throat> and towards the end of this account, um, the, the crowd seeing Jesus' miracle wanted to take Jesus by force and, and make him king. Um, and Jesus, knowing their, their intent, uh, withdrew from the situation, withdrew from the crowd uh, so that they wouldn't have opportunity to do that. And, you know, Jesus is rightfully king, but just not in the way uh, that the crowd saw him at the moment or even wanted him to be uh, for them. And the speaker continued then to to point out that, that we kind of do this in our own lives today with Jesus, that, that we, we say that we, um, we see Jesus in the works that he does, and we, as Christians, are a part of Jesus' kingdom, yet in the moment, uh, our actions or our, or our decisions and our behaviors uh, indicate that we're choosing uh, to identify and bow down to other kingdoms, other worldly kingdoms um, in that moment. And uh, this really resonated with me uh, because I feel and I see this tension uh, all around me all the time in my own life. You know, when I, <clears throat> at home, when I confront my teenagers on uh, some of their choices or, or behaviors and their reasoning is, well, this is what everybody else is doing. This is the way everybody else acts. And, um, you know, they're bowing down to a cultural kingdom, not, not the kingdom of Christ at that moment or when I see uh, Christians online bowing down to a political kingdom over Christ's kingdom, or even in my own life as I struggle with selfishness and bowing down to a kingdom of self rather than Christ's kingdom and a kingdom of servant leadership as Christ has outlined for us. And, you know, we even sang about this, this kingdom tension in our worship this past Sunday as we sang the lyrics let the king of my heart, right, Christ's kingdom reigning in our hearts, be the wind inside my sails, the anchor in the waves, the fire inside my veins, and the echo of my days. Oh, he is my song. Right, we sang about this tension, and even uh, through Randy's uh, message as he was teaching through Jesus' words in Luke 6, Randy said that Jesus is teaching that his kingdom is one of delayed gratification. As Christians, as we seek his kingdom first, we should be willing to be hungry now, to weep now, to be excluded and hated now, because we have the very presence of Jesus with us now as believers. And we have the eternal promise of his kingdom to come. Or the woes, right? We talked about we, we can reject Jesus' kingdom in our life and, and choose at any moment to, to live for our own satisfaction, being rich now, being well-fed, laughing, being well-respected, and finding our value and satisfaction in, in those things. Um, but those things ultimately are temporary. They don't satisfy. They pass away. Jesus says in Matthew 6.33, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Or as other uh, versions say, will be added unto you. All these things will be added unto you. Encountering Jesus will change your life. So, what kingdom are we living for? This is, has been a challenge and an encouragement to me uh, this week. And, and I pray that that you have found this equally challenging and encouraging in your own walk uh, with Christ. Um, I pray that you have a, a great rest of your week. Uh, until next time.